Hey everybody, it's Mr. K. Today's lesson, and for this week, we're going to learn about flute. F-L-U-T-E. Now, if you remember from a couple of weeks ago, ooh, ooh, it's been kind of long, the flute is part of the woodwind family. Okay, it's one of the families of instruments that uses wood to make sound. Now, the flute is a little bit different when it comes to that. It doesn't actually use wood, per se, to make sound. When we watch videos about flutes, or watch flutes being played, we usually see that they're made out of metal. They're a long metal tube. And how does that fit into woodwinds, you might ask? Well, flutes weren't always metal tubes. A very long time ago, they were made out of wood. Now, it's not wood like you would find on a tree. Well, not, not when it first came out. We define wood as something that's very fibrous, and it's a plant, right? And so the original flutes that we know of were actually made out of these weird plants called reeds. And they would be growing at the edge of water. And they grow up very, very straight. And they grow up very, very hollow. There's nothing in the middle of them. And what would happen is the wind would come in, and it would break the reeds in half. And so when it broke, it would be like when you take a, a bendy straw and you bend it, right? Except instead of a bend in the middle, like you get with a straw, there would be two holes. And remember, it's hollow, right? Have you ever taken a bottle of something like your, your soda or, uh, or your water or whatever, and you blow through the top of it? No, I'm thirsty. Hang on a second. Mm -hmm. You hear the different sounds that can happen there? Well, that's what would happen to the reeds for muse for uh alongside the uh the water. The reeds would break and then the wind would blow across those open holes and it would make sounds. Now it wouldn't make music like we hear today. No, nothing like that. That would be kind of weird if something broke in half and all of a sudden you could hear, uh, you know, Call Me Maybe by Carly Rae Jepsen. But it did make different notes because of the different lengths of the, the reeds. Shorter reeds made higher notes. Longer reeds made lower notes. And what happened is the ancient people who used to be around the water and hear those reeds, what they would do is they would gather the reeds together and they would on the top of them to make sound. And eventually what we got is called a reed flute. This is a cool little pan pipe, very simple, C major, made by uh, Lejos, and um, happy to uh, give it a toot for you. Flutes are cool and all, but eventually you figure it's kind of hard to carry one of those around all the time, and reed wasn't really a very sturdy material. Okay, it's kind of like uh, grass, whereas after a little while it just sort of wears out and it doesn't work. And so they thought, what if we could make it out of something else? And so this is where we get into where it's made of wood, because wood lasts a lot longer than a reed does. But also, it's kind of hard to have to drill out, you know, five to however many different notes from a piece of wood. Eventually, what somebody figured out a very long time ago is what if instead of 
making our reed flute with a bunch of reeds of different lengths, we used one flute and then we cut holes in it the same length as the different uh, reeds we were using. And so now we have a flute that has a mouthpiece a lot like what it had before you blow onto it and it vibrates and it's got holes at the different lengths. So when you put your fingers down, you get different notes. So what we ended up with was a flute a lot like this one here. You see, I have a bunch of different holes along the length of my flute. Now remember what I said, the longer the, the tube was, the lower the note. Well, that works for this too. The more fingers I put down, it makes my instrument longer, which makes my note go down. Watch. So I'm going to start with my lowest note. And as I pick my fingers up, I'm making it shorter and shorter and shorter. And so that my note should go up. Now, using a combination of all of those and a combination of my fingers in different places, I can play some songs. Using this method with using the holes and using a sturdy piece of wood instead of those flimsy reeds, we ended up getting some instruments that lasted a lot longer. Now, we also got some really interesting flutes. 40,000 years is a long, long time for a piece of bone to last, isn't it? It's kind of crazy stuff about how they got that together. But that's how we find out how the history, we find the history of our instruments. Now, the one I have here, um, I bought this is pretty new, but this style of flute has been around for thousands and thousands of years. So it's not like this is something that's very, very new. We've known about this for a long time. In fact, in school, we learn an instrument that's very similar to this called a recorder. I don't own a recorder because I don't like the sound of them, but this is this this particular flute is called a Native American flute, and uh, it is a, a one I bought for me and my son. He has one as well. We have a initials D for Dad, and his has M for Malachi. Um, we're learning these together. Um, he is Native American, and so this is one of the things that I want him to know about for his heritage is um, how to play the flute. He'll play other instruments, of course, but this is going to be one of the ones that I really want him to learn so he knows that. But again, these have been around for a very long time, and there's very there's different versions. This is a Native American version. There's a version that's in China. There's a version that's in Japan. There's versions that are in Africa, and they're all basically the same idea. We have the pan flute, and they said, hey, let's put this into a different set, uh, situation with uh, one tube instead of many tubes, so that way we can use our fingers to play it. Now, we will talk about the metal flutes on Wednesday because the transition is kind of crazy and it takes a lot more for me to explain. Okay, the links for the videos you saw in this video are down below in the Google Classroom. If you want to look at more of those or listen to more. Other than that, I hope you had a good time watching this video and I will see you on Wednesday.